Greetings folks. In this video I'm going to be having a look at the Matec CRSF to PWM converter with variometer. Uh, this is the V10, so 10 channel, very uh, useful little electronic board that's been around for a few years in different configurations. Um, this is this was sent to me by Banggood for the review uh, and I chose this just because I was interested in it. It's been around for a while as I said but uh, I've never actually had my hands on one. So what's the idea behind these sorts of products? Well, say you have a Express LRS serial receiver but you actually want PWM outputs and you're not going to use a flight control board. Say it's just for line of sight flying or gliders or something like that. If you have a serial receiver that needs to be plugged into a flight control board to get access to all the pins. Well this uh, kind of takes the place of the flight control board and breaks out the Express LRS signal into 10 different channels. This one also has a Vario on board or a uh, barometer on board so that can also do the job of the glider PWM ELRS receivers. Um, kind of been superseded by these a little bit I suppose but uh, still if you have serial Express LRS receivers uh, and you don't have a PWM receiver then this is a kind of a cheaper way to do it I suppose. Comes with two sets of pins, bent pins and straight pins, 10 pin sets all together and we have a couple of UARTs, one UART1 one here to plug the Express LRS receiver into or Crossfire receiver and another UART over here you can plug a GPS into um, or we can use that for firmware updates or configuration. There is a configurator downloadable, uh, a Windows based configurator from Matec or you can do a serial pass through to Betaflight or INAV which is what I would use. So UART 1 here uh, and channels 1, 2, 3, 4 there, 5, 6, 7, 8 there and 9 and 10 here. This little fella here with a hole in it is the barometer that gives you vario function or vertical speed. It doesn't have an onboard BEC so you have to connect from the ESC or uh, external power source to these uh, BEC pins here and that would have to be a voltage that is compatible with your servos. Uh, 5 to 9 volts I think is the, the input they say. We also have VBAT sensing there so you can connect the positive lead from your battery in there and get um, battery, flight battery telemetry. Um, we can plug a, a current sensor in here to get current telemetry as well. So quite a few functions on a reasonably inexpensive uh, and simple little board. So what I'm going to do now is solder it all up and uh, see what functions we can get working. Now over on the Matec website uh, there are a few different versions here. This is the, uh, let's go for the PWM V10. Uh, this is the one we're looking at and you can see in their version they've soldered the Express LRS receiver straight onto the board. Um, I've got mine separate so they can have the receiver out somewhere else. And uh, we can see there's the UART connection for the receiver there's the little barometer and they're suggesting you cover it with uh, open cell foam to stop sort of pressure differences from wind flowing over it. GPS connection to uh, R, 5 volts and ground and, and they're saying that the R doesn't need to go to the T but you can connect it if you want. VBAT connection there coming straight from the flight battery and ESC signal going into wherever you want, channel 3 and the more importantly the BEC uh, getting into one of the BC, BEC pins so you can power up all of these PWM output pins and some of the information uh, supports any CRS pro CRSF protocol receiver including 433, 868, 915 and 2.4 GHz 10 PWM outputs and supports the, the full range of PWM frequencies 
for standard receivers and uh, high speed digital receivers. Telemetry, receiver battery, current, capacity, battery percent, GPS, GPS speed, heading, altitude, sats, vertical speed, barrow, altitude, um, and you'll discover these, I'll show you how you can discover these in your radio if you're running HTX OpenDX. Failsafe value configurable through iNav Betaflight or the configurator, the Windows based configurator and just confirming there's no built-in regulator to power the servos you have to connect the ESC BEC to power the servos uh, if you click on firmware update here you can download the Windows based configurator uh, and there's the firmware or it tells you here we go I have beta flight pass through which is what I'll have to do seeing I have Mac computers and not Windows and here we are on Banggood at the moment it's Australian 2141 alright so let's see how it operates now alright so let's plug in the receiver goes around this way here it's my Maytech uh, Express LRS serial receiver and we'll plug in some power as well and we get getting power on everything And we have a uh, connection to the battery, so that's all powered up okay. And uh, let's, first of all, let's plug in a... So now let's plug in a servo. That's into channel 1. There we go, that's working. Uh, channel 10. Had that on a slider up here. Yeah, that's all working beautifully, as it should. Alright, so let's see what telemetry we can discover. And discover new sensors and altitude, vertical speed, battery percentage, capacity, current, receiver battery, and all the usual Express LRS things as well. So that's all just working very easily. Excellent. So now I have a GPS here. Let's try plugging that one in. That might be the right way around, possibly into the uh, TX2 and RX2 pins and power there we've got power to the GPS and now we'll discover sensors again discover new sensors and there we've got all the other stuff as well as GPS GPS speed, heading altitude and a number of satellites so that is all just working as it should very good so there we have the Matex Sys CRSF to PWM converter with variometer. Uh, so that'll get the most out of your serial receivers if you want PWM outputs. And uh, you can also plug in GPS and get Vario function from it as well. That's a very useful little piece of electronics. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.